NFL 24. We've got J.K. Dobbins. He had a nice effort a week ago with a pair of touchdowns. It's the Ravens and the Lions coming up next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7, as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside Charles Davis, Raven team as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football. Winners of four of their last six games. And last week's win was indicative of how good this team can be. It was a complete performance. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, they're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. And it's the defense that's really the star of the show. A terrific game last week. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season. Week seven is underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here, and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And you and I both know that any win is a good win, and that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns, an interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. And even 20 yards and a first down on the game's very first play. Off play action. Here's Goff. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. You look at this Baltimore defense. They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And while you can't actually see confidence rising in a unit, you can tell by this team. All right, anytime you can tell your offense, hey, just get us a couple touchdowns. We got this thing locked down. That's when you know you're playing well and you're carrying your team along. Now an injured player here, so a stoppage, and that's Jamison Williams who's shaken up. Here is third down and four. A shotgun snap for Gong. And this is going to be incomplete. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw on that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. And for how good he is throwing the ball, it's his running that makes him so dangerous. He had a couple of touchdowns on the ground in last week's game, so we'll see what they dial up for him for this one. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. From the 25, here's a second and eight. Here's the fourth-year man, J.K. Dobbins. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. To throw is Jackson. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And he will not get all the way home, but he will take this back down to about the two-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if it got turned it into points. Uh, how about this starting field position? First and goal from two yards out. Montgomery. We'll take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Did my eyes deceive me? Or was that an eye formation play that was just run there for a touchdown? A little old school eye. How about that? Was that a fullback, tailback, running it into the end zone? 
Well, that's what that fullback's for, right? That's why you use that. Let him pave the way. Oh, without a doubt. He's an extra blocker, and he did his job well on that play. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, Everyone has matchups that they like better than others. Where they think they have an advantage, dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Here's Jackson. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. You talk about this Lions defense. They were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. Yeah, they pitched a shutout in that game, didn't they? And those don't come around all that often in the NFL. Here's a diving catch right side. That one goes for 24 yards. I felt that one all the way up here. How about that big man laying out and making that catch? Yeah, that wasn't a 180-pound wideout. That was a tight end. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. The medical staff will attend to him and we will step aside. On first and 10, it's Dabbitt. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Two trips to the end zone and well past 100 yards. And going back and watching the film, we saw every kind of run from him, didn't we? We saw some power. We saw finesse. We saw speed. And what I love the most, he finished each and every run. Throwing is Jackson. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Jackson from the shotgun. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. Tucker's kick is good. So that Charles a season long right there. And you know who's really excited about that? The special teams coordinator, because he's the one who has to tell the head coach in pregame, this is where we trust him from. This distance, he can hit it, and he repaid that trust by knocking that one right through. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Lions offense set to take over. And they are right at the 500 mark on the year and got there with a victory a week ago. And I think right now I put myself in the shoes of the head coach and say, all right, time to reset a little bit. And I don't give my team a win one for the Gipper speech, but I do say, look, we haven't played our best football yet, but we are at 500 and we're still in it. Let's try and string a few of these victories together and we're capable of doing so. They'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Goff now looks to throw. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Well, this defense for the Ravens, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. And while you can't actually see confidence rising in a unit, you feel like you can. And when you look at this team, you definitely think that it is because anytime you can tell your offense, just get us a couple of touchdowns. We got this thing locked down. That's when you know you're playing well. Yeah, it's still early in the game. No sense taking a chance on third down and forcing one into traffic. So I like the wise play he made there. Get it to the sideline out of bounds where no one's going to have a chance at it. 
taken from just outside the 30. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kid that can nail it from long distance? But the hard part is, as an offensive player, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. On second down, Jackson. A quick throw, but incomplete. Well, we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's a second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say, only in the first quarter. Certainly a ship that he wants to right quickly. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. After one, 7-3 the score on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Baltimore. It's the Ravens in possession. Too long for a field goal, too short to punt that in between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. He needed two, but he doesn't come anywhere close. And the Lions will take over. Even though they didn't get it, probably the right call. Too long for a field goal and just not a whole lot to gain from a punt there. Yeah, you wouldn't have really netted very much yardage if you punt the ball, right? And the thing about a field goal, and you know this from so much experience, the longer the field goal, the lower it comes out off the kick, right? Which means it's got a better chance of being blocked. So you're taking a chance either way. I like the fact they went for it. And they'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead a handoff up the middle. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 38 yard line. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Third and nine here. combined for their team's first sack of the game. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded at about the 28. They'll net only 35 here following a 43-yard boot, 8-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Baltimore with good starting field position as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. And throwing here to start the drive as they connect left side. It's a big play there for Baltimore. 45 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, only they were all the season because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. This will be a five-yard pickup as they move it from the 20 to the 15. 
And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20 yard line. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. And they're picking up right where they left off with the shutout that they pitched last week. A huge part of that, this pass rush. They know how to get after people. Offensively, good luck finding some answers right now. On third down, Jackson. He's got his target. That's complete. Well, the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A field goal helps, but a touchdown gets you the lead. That had to be the message transmitted in the huddle. And the deliver there is that goal is going to keep the drive alive. And even better than that, set them up with a first and goal. And they'll try to pound it in with Ricard. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. It'll be a gain of two. And speaking of twos, it'll take us to the two-minute warning. Another shot from the one on second and goal. Edwards will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat. Chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10 7. A drive that time of six plays, and it was polished off by the Gus Edwards touchdown run. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. And Detroit getting set to go now. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they come through on this play and get the series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Powerful running. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Holding offense. So following the holding call, what can they do here on third and long? Following the penalty, Montgomery. And a short pick up there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Gus Edwards heading back onto the field. He's only had a couple of carries. I mean, when you've got a horse like this, second quarter, got to start to ride that horse a little more, don't you? You can't just neglect him. He's got to touch it and often in order to get maximum out of him. Typically, these types of backs, it's the accumulation of carries, and that's when you see the damage as the game goes out. Yeah, let's see. They're going to try to get him into the flow, we would assume, here. Now a second and ten. Now it's Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And they'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A gain there of 21 yards. Well, they showed a five receiver set, had the backfield empty, and lined the running back out to the left. Plenty for the quarterback to process both pre and post snap but he was able to find his man, and it turns into a big play. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. A short throw caught by Andrews. The go down is a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. 
pressure. He's brought down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Looking to throw. And he is caught. And he's taken down inside the 30. The Raven passing game getting in sync. Another first down. Partner, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Made his first, this now from 46 yards away. Tucker's kick is good. And the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks at tables end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. A lot to get to here as some of the division races starting to take shape. As we look around the NFL here in week number seven. been a fun one to watch so far we knew this was going to be a battle and we have not been disappointed this is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way all right coach thanks yeah both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point the ravens ready to receive it and they've got the lead as well as we resume play in the second half and no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. So five yards here, five on the play. Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Jackson. And he fires one, but incomplete. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it, and that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Take it at the 37. A 40-yard punt, five yards on the return, and the Lions will take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. On first and ten, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that will bring up second down. One yard here brings up second and nine at the 43 yard line. Goff now looking to throw. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Patrick Queen got in there to stick him. He gets the sack. So one quick, easy analysis about why they struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. 
So now following the sack, off and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Patrick Queen, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Here comes the Lions punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. on the punt, seven-yard return, and they will take over first and ten. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. Jackson now. Hard throw, incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit back in possession of the football. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Now go on. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Here's Goff. A short pass here taken in by Laporta. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it'll be second down. Throwing again is golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Back to throw, golf. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here comes the Lions punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Fair catch called for and made at the 16 or maybe the 17-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Here's second and four from the 24. From the gun, Jackson. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. As they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. 
You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Dobbins running out of the gun. And they get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Two yards good enough for first. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Second and six. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like a spot right at midfield at the 50. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's one of 11 times. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Jackson, option right. The quick, there he goes, right side. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions 15. 36 yards on the play. What a run there. I mean, you've got speed, elusiveness, escapability, all rolled into one. And we all know that quarterbacks are coached to get the ball to the guys who can do all the things you just described. You want those guys who have speed, elusiveness, and escapability all rolled into one with the ball in their hands. And guess what? It's him. So there's no sense in throwing it or handing it off when you can do all of that yourself. So after the big play, look at this. All the way down at the 15 now on first and 10. And now Jackson will look to throw it. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Here's Jackson to throw. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, his second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. Well, that was absolutely ideal for them, wasn't it? Trying to salt this game away. I think one of my kids just graduated in the amount of time they had the football. That was absolutely impressive. Everybody wants those salt away the game drives. What makes them successful? Well, when you're able to mix run pass, when you're able to control the football and stay ahead of the chains, I'm using every cliche I know, but that's how you get it done because you're not taking negative plays, and that way you're able to run what you want to run when you get a chance to call it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. No run back here for Raymond. This will be a touchback. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. The Goff's throw here into the hands of Jones. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is tough. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, 
that puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. And they sit in a good spot, having the ball back after the fumble recovery and up two scores in the fourth quarter. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. On first down, it's gone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Marcus Williams. He's still on his feet, and he will bring this back. It's a pick six and a Raven touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, get the interceptions, great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. And surge of redemption from the pick six. Gone. And that'll be caught by Sam Brown. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Here's Goff now on second down. Throw caught by Raymond. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Goff on first down. This one swung out to Montgomery. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Goff now looks to throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. It's third down and seven yards to go. Play action. It's gone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Edwards now on first and ten. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of a drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. 
And you know, it wasn't a shutout. They did give up the points in the first quarter, but second, third, and fourth quarter, they held them scoreless. Brandon, if you throw a shutout for quarters two, three, and four, you're going to win a lot of games in this league. And this felt a lot like, almost like if you say baseball, and the pitcher goes through the lineup the first time, and the hitter's getting to see him, and then they come out after that, and the bats start blazing, right? I think they saw their best stuff in the first quarter and just shut everything 